It's a day of remembrance and honor to a flag that symbolizes our freedom. I welcome everyone here today to our third annual Field of Flag ceremony. Today, June the 14th, is Flag Day. Patriots stood at attention during the Field of Flag ceremony in a downtown St. George City Park. I've never served in combat, but obviously we all know people who have, and I find in each of these lives of, and, and others that I've mentioned today, uh, I find like the flag to be symbolic, and I hope we can all remember the courage, the honor, the dignity, the service of those who in whatever way have served us and served our country. Whether they have served their country or not, most agree that it's important to teach the value and history of this flag. That we may understand, that we may honor and continue to revere this flag as a part of our heart, our country, and the patriotism that will carry us forward. May we continue to teach and explore everything that has anything to do with our freedoms. The American flag represents many things to many people. Ever since I was young, I've had an extremely high respect for not only the American flag, but what the United States stands for. And to me, there's no better symbol of freedom in this entire world than the American flag. The flag is that constant of what we're supposed to be. All of the ideals, the Constitution, uh, the Declaration of Independence, our Bill of Rights. Reverence and freedom. The public was given the opportunity to donate to the American Legion and dedicate a flag in honor of a loved one. I dedicated the flag to my father. He was on four invasions in the South Pacific uh, during World War II. Uh, he had two Purple Hearts and a Bronze Star. The ceremony ended with a tribute and song led by the mayor, To God and Our Country. With its 13 stripes of red and 50 small white pointed stars, the red, white, and blue will forever symbolize our country and not just on Flag Day. Home, sweet home. From the Field of Flags, I'm McKinley McQuiston, Community Education News.